This is the, the scan tier list old school RuneScape that are non-made. The resolution's a little different this time, obviously, given the images that are available to us. But if you, if you know of these scams, be, feel free to post your opinions on whether they were decent scams uh, or not. I want to know if you've been scammed by them before as well. Let me know which ones have gotten you. And I'll let you know which ones got me. Um, or which ones I've tried, at least, anyway. Um, but yeah, and non put this together, it looks beautiful. I don't know whose fucking head this is, but... I, I, I couldn't tell who that is, maybe he'll let us know, but... Alright, we'll start off strong with the Wilderness Lure as our first scam for the day. In Old School RuneScape. Unregistered Hypercam, the classic. Um, you guys might remember the Wilderness Lures. This, this still happens today. It, like, the Wilderness Lure, in my opinion, is an S-tier scam. Because it evolves with the game. It never, it never got, you fuck Woody Lure? Absolutely, if you fall for Woody Lure, you deserve it. But it happens to everyone. Everyone falls for it, even today. The wilderness is in the game, you're getting lured. People drop, like, high value items in the wilderness, people run out there and die. The, it, lately, wilderness lures have been spiking very recently. Um, it's not Asmongold, no. So, uh, over the past two weeks, wilderness lures are actually up. Because people are going star mining, turning on Entity Hider like idiots, and they're not turning it off again. I, I don't think you should turn your Woody Law on. Was that you and my clan that lost 110 mil last week, Dylan? Get fucking Rex cunt. There you go. Perfect example right there. Don't fuck with your entity hider. Be careful when you go into the wilderness. Um, don't take high value gear. Don't forget to have your protect item. Wilderness lures are always there. And you still people see people trying it today. Wilderness lures uh, is bannable, by the way. You can be... Uh, it depends on how you go about it. If you are hiding as in, like a third age ring under a Tebow, you can get banned for that, um, so obviously be cautious. Otherwise, just woody luring in general. A lot of it is hard to justify as bannable, but um, in terms of scamming. But yeah, absolutely, woody lures are S tier scams for sure. Why is it bannable? Because it's technically a scam if you're deceiving people by hiding under items um, in like uh, when you wear like the third age ring or something like that. You you can be banned for that, especially if that is your pure intent to then force people to uh, click on you and skull. Yes, you have a skull prevention, but the fact that skull prevention's in the game is not a valid argument to, like, justify the the lure or the scam, right? You can't be like, well, he didn't have skull prevention on, so I didn't scam him, that was his choice. That's not how it works, that won't hold up in court. So you absolutely can't get banned for doing wilderness luring, especially uh, to that level. Especially, which is ironic when content creators make video series on it, but here we go. Uh, trust trading. Um... <laughs> Getting scammed by return of wilderness. So trust trading, I believe, trust trading is where you, I guess, trust someone with your gear. Is that, is that when you're loaning people gear and then they fuck off? Like if someone says, oh, can I borrow your scythe to go top? You give them your scythe and then they don't come back. Um, that's not, I mean, yeah, it's a scam, but really that's just stupidity. And um, if you fall for that, you are, you are a fucking idiot. Um, although some people do, at the same time, sometimes you make friendships with people and then they... You know, they, they burn bridges over fucking 200k, 300k, 300 mil even. Not a whole lot of money. So, um, it does happen. Um, it's a very scummy thing to do, of course. And uh, we will put that under the the D tier. Because I think it, it's... Nah, it's got to be E tier, for sure. It's not F tier, because there, I think there are worse scans. But it's one that people try. It's unfortunately very common and p things you should be aware of, but... Uh, yeah, people people just burn bridges over fuck all at the end of the day. You gotta be careful of that shit. Dublin GP is separate. This is not Dublin GP, no. Trust trading would be... Would, would be like, yeah, lending gear to someone, right? Quitting rooms get doubling money, that's different. Doubling money is here. This is doubling money, including armor trimming. Let me trim your armor. Let me double your gold. Gold doubling and armor trimming is S tier. Not just because it's ironic and fun and uh, everyone, you know, remembers the, the doubling money era. But also because I tried it once. I fell for it once and I tried it once. So back in 2000 and... Before... This is RuneScape 2. I, I fell for it once because there was someone in Varrock West... North East... Varrock West Bank. Someone was doubling money. And he was doubling like hundreds of mils. I traded him 20 mil and he gave me 40 mil back the next trade. And I traded him the 40 mil and then he gave me 80 mil back the next trade. And then I traded him 80 mil and then he left. I never saw him again. And I, I remember it like it happened yesterday. It lives in my head rent free. That shit's, that shit's real, man. Um, armor trimming. I've never had my armor trimmed. I've never fell for armor trimming. Um, I, I, I know that's dumb as shit. But also for gold doubling. I've, I've attempted doubling money before. Yeah, I've dabbled in that scam. I've successfully scammed people doubling money before. 
me and my brother would log in, my little brother. He would um, be at the GE. I would double money and he'll come over and then I'll double his money. I'll even just pretend to double his money. And he'll be like, wow, it worked. You know, trying to get other people to do it. Then other people would come. And as soon as I get money from them, I'd dip. Worked for about 20 minutes. And then you get to certain worlds. People go, yeah, no, they're, they're lying. He didn't double his money. They're friends. They're faking it. Um, and then we gave up. So, yeah, I, I definitely scanned back in the original RuneScapes and doubling money for sure. Absolutely. Double money is like anal first. They ease you into it. And then right when you think, oh, this isn't that bad, they fucked the shit out of you. Yeah, pretty much, dude. Reporting now. Yeah, good luck, dude. In classic, I used to tell people I would turn their rune helm into dragon minion helm. Worked well in 2002. Fuck yeah, dude. Gold swapping. I hope this isn't accusing Oak Dice about gold swapping, but maybe it is. Uh, so gold swapping, this is where ma, ma, this is where people offer a gold swapping service from um, like RuneScape 3 to Old School RuneScape. Dead man mode to Old School RuneScape. And then you get scammed. Swap RS3 one bill for RS3 gold. Yeah, so you give them the RS3 gold and then they don't fucking give you your money. You gold swap 50 mil at the start of dead man mode, you get a big drop, you, you sell it for money, you swap it, and then you don't get your money in Old School RuneScape. Big scam, something you should be careful of, something I was very careful of. I, you have to be, you, you want to use a trusted service with this, because if there, are, if there are services that aren't trusted, you're likely going to get fucked. Very big, very active currently in the game, uh, people make a lot of money through it. Uh, Lord, thank you. Welcome uh, back to the membership. You're a champion. It does happen. I don't see San Casino scans. Maybe it's behind others. Probably. So gold swapping is something that people fuck with. Um, and you, you do want to be careful with. This is a B tier scam. B tier because it is still... Thank you, Lord Slayer. And, and Tom, welcome, man. I appreciate it. So, sorry, I'll just let the announcement play. This gold, this gold tier list, gold swapping, is still a very active um, scam today. Will be happening on seasonal events. Every dead man mode, you've got to be careful. Do it at your own risk. It's not bannable to swap gold, but it is not moderated either. Meaning that Jagex says if you get scammed, you're on your own, which is the, the best way to go about it. Absolutely. Malicious plugins. All right. Perfect. Instantly. What this means is when someone says, oh, you're trying to learn Insanity at TOA? I've got a plugin you can download. It's a TOA Insanity Helper. Just download this link. What's your Discord, bro? Yeah, this link? Yeah, it's, it's right here. It's uh, runescape.com, but like the, the E is like a three, or the E is that little Spanish thing with the flick, uh, slash insanity, slash runelight, slash helper. Oh, sure, you click the link, and all of a sudden, your RuneScape account is now on their JX account. Or, you know, you click on the link in the Discord. Yeah, let's let's help you with Cox. Get the Cox Helper plugin. You, you click up, you click this link on its malicious website, and then all of a sudden they have access to your computer because you hit um, accept, and then they just dump your fucking inventory, PK you on a high risk world, and it's game over. Moral of the story is, if you fall for this, you're a fucking idiot. If you fall for any of these, you're an idiot. But this one especially, there, if someone recommends a plugin to you, if it's not on the plugin hub, don't touch it. If you are unsure, come to come see me, ask me. Okay, ask me if you're not sure about a plugin. I will let you know if it's a scam or not. Don't click any links. Do not add anyone on Discord that wants to be, all of a sudden wants to raid and teach. They're likely full of shit. Okay, malicious plugins uh, are, a, are a B tier scam. Not because I think they're good, but because they are effective and they work because people are lazy. You guys are lazy. You're idiots. You don't want to put in effort to this game. You don't want to look at guides. You don't want to take the time to reach out and find actual teachers. Someone goes, here's a plugin to help you learn. You go, oh, plugin. Yeah, I'll do more plugins. Okay, so it's like heroin. You just want to inject the memes into your veins because you think it makes the game easier. Then your bank gets cleared and then you go, well, shit. So don't fucking do that. Stay away from the plugins. They are out to get you. It's actually going to get A tier because it's that people are still getting fucked today by them. Don't you do not need the plugins to help you with raids? Stop, please. Don't even try to win on RuneScape. That's that's really the the play. Just don't fucking talk to anyone. What the fuck is this? Skull tricking. Skull tricking is also bannable, which basically falls under wilderness law. I think skull tricking is more okay. Ignore what I said about wilderness law. That skull tricking is the is the the way to go. Basically trying to. Uh, um, Lure people into a false sense of security, thinking that they won't skull, then all of a sudden they do. Um, it's a lot harder to do with the skull prevention mechanic, but it is absolutely possible and fucking annoying. So, um, skull trickers, still active today. You're a scumbag if you do it. I don't care who you are, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to make content out of it, then it sounds like you're out of content. 
So skull tricking is F tier. Fuck skull tricking. And um, yeah, I wish a motherfucker would. I really do. Fishing sites, a classic. I've never, I've never fallen victim to a fishing site for RuneScape, thankfully. Um, but we all know they're there. Wooks isn't quitting, okay? Foe, Bodhi, they're not quitting. Dino's not quitting. Stop going to the streams and say they're quitting RuneScape, okay? They're not. They make a living from this game and they're addicted. No one's quitting this fucking game. All right, stops clicking links. If the if you log into a fucking website and then it says enter your bank pin, what do you think is gonna fucking happen next? Don't do that shit. Come on. I had a mate who was watching a a Bodhi fishing a uh, Bodhi quitting stream actually. This is years ago, right at the start of Old School Runescape. And then he logged in and then he put his bank pin in and then he went, I think I've just been hacked. And it, it clicked. It's always it's always one of those moments in life where it clicks the second that you fuck up. You go. You enter your, your username password, you enter your bank pin, you hit continue, and then you go, oh, fuck. That's not good. You've fallen victim after a few drinks? You fucking idiot. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, these are still around. Um, the, the, the problem is, is, can JS get on top of it? Because if you go to Twitch, I don't know if any are active on Twitch right now, but, like, I, I don't know if JS can talk to Twitch about it and, and do something about it, because they're obvious scams, right? They're, they're literally just trying to fish people for their information. I don't see any at the moment, thankfully. It looks like they've been shut down. Because normally they're actively going constantly. There's always a dino or a fucking Bodhi one where they're just playing old streams. They're not even talking to the chat. Sub only mode. No one's fucking talking. So currently they're not active, which is good. It might mean hopefully Jagus has gotten on top of it. Um, so we'll put this in the C column as well for now, just in case. But they, they are very successful. Don't click the link. Can I have a bro fist real quick? No. Uh, Bravey didn't get tricked. He fought back like an idiot and attacked the wrong person. Excuse me? What does that mean? What do you mean? People who spam, go to this YouTube channel, G, are worst cancer, uh, the worst cancer scammers. That's also true. They're terrible as well. When did my email, saw your account has been sent a reset password, so logged in and says it's not valid. Oh shit, bad luck, dude. Fell for the quitting stream in my first six months of playing. Yeah, see, the thing is, the reason you fall for these fishing links and these Bodies quitting stream is because you're all greedy little cunts. You give me 10 bucks for a bro fist, send it. Money first. So, the, the, you're all greedy little fuckers, he says after saying, yeah, send 10 bucks. So, you, you're like, wow, 400 mil giveaway, got a lot, no. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Stop, stop trying to get as much money as you can, it's not a scam. I, I will never scam my viewers. Bornos in Camelot. So, this one is where someone says, all right, you go to the Grand Exchange and someone goes, what's the, Twisted Bow is currently, uh, what's the, Price T-Bow. Okay, no, that's a short bow. Price, Twisted Bow. So the Twisted Bow is currently 1.483 bill. All right? Someone at the Grand Exchange, you've seen it before, they go, uh, buying T-Bow, 1.8 bill. Yeah, 1.9 bill. And you go, what? No way. So you trade them the T-Bow. And then they say, my other account's in Camelot. Take this tablet, teleport, and uh, he'll give you the money there. And you go, sure. And you're not thinking. So you go accept because you're like, yeah, I'll take the tablet. But you forgot to take, take your Tebow out. And uh, yeah, then they get a Tebow for a Camelot teleport. It happens. People have fallen for it. I've seen people fall for it. People, they, because you just see the tablet, they're talking to the conversation and you're just not thinking. You're too busy going 1.9 bill. What can, oh, look at that 500 mil I can make. I can make so much money. You're too busy thinking about the money. You're not thinking about taking your Tebow out of the trade window and then they're gone. That's it. It works. It happens. It's a fucking. It's a funny scam. That's the, that's the scam. That's all it is. There's no one at Camelot. They're just trading you a, t a tablet, saying, "Here, go take this and see you in Camelot." And because you're not thinking, yeah, it's it's so simple. It's honestly a tier. It's genius. I love this scam. I, I love a lot of scams. Okay, I don't like doing them. I don't I don't like when people fall for them, of course. But I love seeing scams pop up because as the game develops. And as Jagex tries to like make changes to avoid scams, new ones come out of the fucking the sewer, you know? All the rats come out and you just see a new scam. You go, that's fucking genius. That's so fucking funny. Also, as it stops you for five seconds before proceeding, you can turn that off in the settings. Always wondered how that scam went. Yeah, I thought they would try to swap the gold out before accepting. No, it's straight up. Yeah, they just try to um, get you excited and then you, you forget. Your, your brain just goes out the window because you're too busy thinking. The ego scam is the one too, though. Where where is it? I don't know what the ego scam is. 
YouTube and fishing, this is the same as we discussed with the fishing sites. Basically, um, although with fishing sites, you've got to be careful because it's also like the fake rune light websites, the fake runescape websites. But yeah, you've got the YouTube and uh, Twitch fishing sites where it's a stream that has a similar, it'd be like Bodhi, but the, the O is actually, or the zero is actually an O, or the A is like a goatee or something. But yeah, they send you to a website. Same with the people in game that say, go to this website for, or go to this YouTube channel for a 400 mil giveaway. And then you watch the video and in the description where it says check the description, it's just got like dreamscape music playing in the background. And uh, yeah, then you click the link and then you get fished. C tier along with this terrible shit should be banned, should be um, hung in the street in front of their family. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, where's my YouTube video? That's, is that under that still? I don't know if that comes under the YouTube fishing one. One to my, where my, for my YouTube video. I think that's different. Street Pirates vs GE, oh this is a classic, you guys might remember this one, so if you don't know about this, you got to be careful, when Jagex uh, does an update for uh, Clue Scrolls, this is what, it always happens when we get a Clue Scroll update, when new Clue Scroll items come to the game, like the Onku outfit, the Mummy outfit, those, the host cities, or like the Korean Kingdom banners, the, what do you got in here, what you got on the menu there, uh, the b bandana, eye patch, things like that, you know, the Clue Scroll items no one fucking wants, right, they're just, just the trash. Um, they are always worth a fuck ton. Right? They're, they're worth a fuck. Yeah, Matter of Remedy is worth for a bit, but like they'll be worth like 40 mil. But on the Grand Exchange, they're only they're only trading for like 30k. So they, they, they don't want that, right? But the the price checker says 40 mil. So they'll throw that in there along with yeah, like dragon gear, bandos gear, like junk. But it'll make it feel like, you'll make you feel like, wow, you're, you're making a lot of money here because you've got a hundred bandana eye patches, which is equal to four mil. But you're not, you're not going to sell them for 40k each. They're going to sell for way less than that. You end up buying it, you spend 40 mil on this uh, setup, and then you put it in the GE and you get like three mil back after everything. It's disgusting. But it's a smart, smart, um, smart scam for sure. It's, uh, the only problem with it is that it's only effective when new junk items come to the game, which is mostly through Clue Scrolls, and therefore it sits in the E tier list because it's seasonal, uh, it's not it's not really that effective, and um, yeah, like why are you why are you trading people? Use the Grand Exchange, they're full of shit. Next up, we have the four noted items. I don't know what four what's the four noted item scam. I don't know what that is. I wonder. This is unregistered hypercam. This is on the fucking browser. Does anyone know what four noted items is by any chance? Is a non here to explain this one? I'm not sure. Let me, let me see if I can Google it. Wow, they've got a whole list of scams on the fandom page. Look at this. Um, doesn't work anymore. It was like four D battle axes that protect over a whip. What? So they would give you four dragon battle axes? And, and then, and then, so, well, like, someone will give you four Dragon Battle Axes and then kill you, and then they would get your whip? Really? Okay. Doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore with the way that they, they obviously changed the mechanics, but... Is getting scanned by a friend in there, uh, that's a classic? Yes, that was the, um, that's trust trading, I believe. So basically, back in the old days, people would people would s s trade you like four dragon battle axes, and that would be worth more than the whip. So when you protect item, you'd you'd keep your four battle axes, you'd lose your whip, which doesn't make sense because then the dragon battle axes are worth more than the whip anyway. But maybe I guess you couldn't sell them. It, I know they weren't worth more than the whip at the time, but I guess this is also pre GE era, right? You forgot the Berthold runes game. We haven't gone through it, mate. I haven't forgotten anything, mate. Same happened to me with Torex hammers. <laughs> really, man, you've been scanned heaps, cunt. You need to stop talking to people. Just fucking play, play an Iron Man. Holy shit, you suck. It was oh, it was off Alk Valley, was it? Oh, okay, I see. It just uh, protect on Alk Valley. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah, it does make sense, right? Because there's no Grand Exchange. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, well, it's it's not in the game anymore, unfortunately. But I would have loved to have seen that in the making. That's an F tier scam. Uh, that's dead and gone, unfortunately. Next we have buy limits and anti scam. All right, I, I don't know if anti scam falls under this uh, category, but uh, buy, buy limit is a classic. It wasn't just for whips; you could uh, do like blessed spirit shields uh, for an armed or god sword, 
which was huge profit at the time. Fucking hell, that's insane, man. I didn't know about that. That's so cool. What a, what a great, what a great fucking scam. Um, buy limit is where you say, oh, can someone help me buy mind runes? I need, or well, let's say it's a more expensive item. Let's say so, someone wants to buy, you've got, what's this, gnome cakes here. So they want to buy gnome cakes, but they've said that they don't have any space left. So they've had to, um, they, they need someone else to buy them cakes. All right. What they've actually done is they've got cakes on the ground. They've already got cakes on the ground exchange, I believe, at a higher price. So they get you to buy their cakes, right? That way, so they, they, they have these cakes. They can't sell them. No one's buying the cakes. So they'll put the cakes up. Yeah, no, I've done that wrong. Sorry, it's not buy limit. Is, 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 is that the buy limit one? I'm, I'm not sure now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Beans got scammed a bit the other day, actually. Someone, someone asked them to buy, like... Like... I think you've got a fuck ton of cakes because you've been scammed or something already. So you put the cakes in there and then you get someone else to buy them. Um, and you say that they're, you get them to buy them for you, but you don't actually take them off and they just bought your cakes, basically. Because you, you can't sell them. You're trying to sell them at a higher price or some shit, I think. I could be wrong on that now, actually, thinking about it. They say uh, they hit buy um, limit uh, for them. Yeah, but it's not like... But they haven't actually... Even, they haven't hit the buy limit. It's their, their item that you're actually buying from them. Yeah, because no one wants to buy the fucking cakes. Battle Axe is worth more in death uh, than certain items, so if you lost, uh, so if you accept the items, uh, you will trade the kit the Battle Axe and lose your items. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. They make sure the market has a few on it, all low, and the rest is, uh, the rest for high, and bet on the person buying for overpriced. Okay, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit of a confusing one, but basically, the moral of the story is if someone's asking you to buy something with the grand exchange for them, and you don't even know them, tell them to suck a dick. Uh, that's an E-tier scam. Uh, yeah, E-tier. It's pretty pretty low tier. It's pretty hard to, to pull off, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, it confused the fuck out of me trying to explain it, but it, what's happening is it's likely if someone's asking you to buy off the Grand Exchange for them, you're actually just buying their shit because they are just trying to sell off dirt for more than that's more than it's worth. Who the fuck needs cakes at the end of the day? Animation stalling, a classic. Essentially, uh, 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 arguably part of the game now, right? Animation stalling. You use, use the hunter crossbow, you scare the fuck out of people, but Animation stalling falls under the uh, the scans where you're standing at the Grand Exchange and if you have an Elijah Spirit Shield, a Tebow, a Shadow, Full Missouri, you have the goods, right? You're, you're one of those guys that you're, the way you play the game, you're only satisfied when people look at you and go, wow, you've got so much money, oh my god, I wish I was you, how many KC, oh my god, had you, you know, you, you're, you're fueled, your ego is fueled off of people's opinions of you who, let's be honest, won't remember you when you're dead. So. You're one of those idiots. And then someone goes, hey, nice Tebow, do you want to be in a video? And uh, they'll offer, they'll trade you like Zamak, Bruise, and some other bullshit and say, yeah, come to this world, this bank. You go to Barbarian Assault, I believe, um, and the bank tile, this is dumb. Jagex should just remove the system, but basically the, the scam works like you go to Barbarian Assault and the bank tile in front of the chest is safe. And I believe every other tile in the area is not safe. So you're there and you're like, oh yeah, I can, I'm can. i not going to get scanned here because I'll just stand on the safe tile. And they're trading you, making sure you've got your valuable items on you. You've drunk your Zami Brew so your health is low so they can easily stack you out. And then they go to trade you one last time and they've animation stalled. They've got someone that's animation stalled off screen. So on your screen, you can't see them or they're not next to you at least. You hit the trade button and your guy gets dragged into the danger zone. And because it's a high risk PvP world, there's no protect item and you see the D-Claws coming or the AGS and you're fucking dead and you lose everything. Very common scam, still happens. It mostly happens to people. The, the, the biggest victims of this are the people who think they're smarter than them and try to anti-scam them. They think that they can get away with it. They can get away with some free shit or they can waste their time. You're getting fucking scammed. Okay, you think you're smarter than these people? You're not. They're dirt, they're scum. They hang around rats, okay? Rat behavior is their fucking middle name. You want to be careful with these scans because you will get fucked. Animation stalling is smart. It takes a lot of uh, knowledge, a lot of gaming, and a lot of money can be made because people can't resist. Their ego needs to be fueled. This is an A tier scam. It's very strong. People will fall for it all the time, and it will continue to happen. Don't talk to people in game. No one wants to see your bank. No one cares. Item swapping. What the fuck is item swapping? Ah, oh, right. Item swapping. A classic. So this, this doesn't work anymore, but it's, it's hard to pull this off now because of the new trade window system with the exclamation points over the items. 
Now that bank does it as well. I didn't know that. That's good. Um, so the, the thing with item swapping, it'd be like when you have a um, rune battle axe in your trade window and then they swapped it for a myth battle axe last second. Or you had the, what did you have? You had a uh, Darox great axe and they swap it for the leaf blade of battle axe last second. Um, they do it with various different items two-handed saws that look similar because it's all noted, right? So they look the same on the note. Got scammed um, by, um, by swap back in there, swapping, uh, got sort the rune sword with a myth sword. Yeah, you can get fucked really easy like that. Rune to myth was chest easy to do. Um, Bandos chest plate to Bandos plate body. If you fall for that, you're a fucking retard cunt. They look completely different. No, I, no, I don't believe that's, no, that's not a thing. My best friend lost his whole bank trying to bulk buy logs and then swapped it last second with basic logs. Yeah, like you can do that with you and basic logs for sure. There's no way you got dumb bandits, chest plate, bandits, plate, whatever. They're not even in the same fucking realm, dude. Looks the same on the second screen. Mm, okay, yeah, you could argue that. All right, I, I, I don't retract my statement, but yeah, that's a fair argument. So I saw the D-Med helm for a ruby when I was a kid. <laughs> that's ambitious. I love that. Never fall for these scans. They're so obvious. Ah, you'd be surprised. Not to everyone. I got hit with one uh, way back in the day trying to buy my first rune pick. Yeah, it happens, man. And it's one of those scans that you don't realize until you hit accept. You've gone, oh, fuck. Wrong one. Herbs, that happened a lot with herbs. Dragon bones, big bones, yeah. Thought I could anti-scam. Ended up uh, getting a hostidious plow pushed on top of me and I couldn't move. That's fucking awesome. Zemi Spear, Mjolnir. Yeah, it works, man. Used to work really well with Sarah Diamond uh, rune back, um, items back when they were worth bank. There you go. Everyone's heard of the scam. You guys know it. It's a great scam. Hard to pull off these days. Very smart. Um, it's probably it's probably up here at B tier because like all you're doing you're, you're you're taking advantage of like people's oversight. Like people aren't paying attention, right? They're just like, yeah, I'm trying to sell. I'm I'm trying to buy Darrow Sacks. They want a Darrow Sacks. They're fo they're focused on getting that item. They're not thinking about it being a scam. So they put the money up. They hit accept, and then they don't see the quick one too. Especially if you have good ping and they don't and then you make the sale, and then they don't read it, they just hit accept again, and then that's it. Especially if it's a good deal. Like, you're normally offering it for a lower than market value, so you're like, shit, this is like, I'm saving 100K here. Yeah, quick, make the trade before it's too late. And then you realize it was too late 10 minutes ago. Teleover and teleport tabs. This um this doesn't happen too often, because teleover is really hard to do, teletabs. But this, I remember seeing this happen in dead man mode I want to say three or four, maybe more than that, maybe more than four years ago. Before I did content creation, I remember seeing it. It happened on Foe's stream, okay? Foe was at the Grand Exchange. Some of you might remember this clip, it's classic. It was sitting on there, it was sitting at the Grand Exchange in dead man mode, and someone said, someone was like, uh, buying Barra's teleport tab. So, someone goes, yeah, buying te Barra's teleport tab. I might even try to find the clip for you. Guy pulls up the trade window, and then he shuts it instantly as the guy goes to click the Barra's tab in his inventory. So instead of trading it, he teleports. And when he teleports, he goes to Barrows. And you can guarantee there is a team of PKs standing there waiting for his dumbass. And he just gets absolutely fucking railed. Let's see if I can do that. Um, Barrows, if I, I think it's like Barrows uh, Tele Tab Scam. It's, oh, it's, it's so funny, man. Maybe clip. Might be under clip, I'm not sure. Nah, maybe, maybe. I'd, I'd have to do some digging for it, but it, it was a real thing. It was so good. Yeah, they just, as soon as you open the trade window. I mean, I honestly, I honestly do this in main games sometimes. Like, I'll, I'll be like, uh, buying a, buying a Barra's teleport, and then I'll just shut the trade window just to fucking send them. Because it's fucking funny. It's hard to do in the wilderness because you have to confirm it. But sometimes, if I'm bored, and I'm just chilling at the at the bank, I'll just be like, yeah, someone got like a Varric Teletab. And then, yeah, I'll just fucking get them to trade me. Then I'll just shut the trade window just so they teleport away. Just because it's fucking funny. Um, I think this is pretty much an S tier scam. It's, if, you, if you're bored and you want to troll someone, it's a good way to kill time. Just try to get someone to fucking teleport away. Not to get them killed. Just because, fuck it. Why not? Now we got the drop lore. Kinda kinda like wilderness luring, but the drop lore. I guess this happens here as well. I don't know. It probably, probably makes sense in somewhere like this. This is in the Temple of Ikov, right? Because you need to be underweight. But there'll be certain places where in the game where animations are stalled. 
use the Temple of Arkov Bridge, for example. When you're walking across this bridge, the, the like four or six game ticks between this bridge walk might even be eight game ticks. You can't do anything. You are stuck here, okay? Drop lower is probably wilderness lower for Forex and Clay, but this is where you can't do anything. You're walking across this bridge. You're, you can't stop, you can't attack, you can't change prey, you can't eat. Everything is stalled. And, um... So someone will put like a, a T-Row on one side. And you go to walk across the bridge. And then while you're crossing the bridge, they just stack you the fuck out. You come across the bridge and you're deleted, you're dead. I'm 90% sure that's how it works. I don't know about it being used on this bridge specifically, but there are places... You could argue... Um... It'd be for a PvP world, right? That's what it would be. Um... I, I, I would say... You could use the Wilderness Agility course as an example, but if you're out there, you're probably going to get stacked out anyway. So I'm not, I'm not really sure where you would use it these days. Someone might know more than me, but it's uh, basically just taking advantage of where you can't do shit until you're dead. It's like doing tightrope room without killing the, the rangers and the mages. You cross the tightrope, they're hitting you, but you don't see any damage splats until you're on the other side and then you're fucking dead. Except a PK and you're losing all your shit. Almost fell for the teleport scan a couple weeks back. Was using 3.30 for player and house teleports and the house owner had almost all left click options to the wilderness. That, that's actually smart as shit. Yes. I love that actually. And then just have people sitting at the wilderness in, just in case. That's, ah, oh, damn, that's good, man. That's a good scam. If you, if you have a house party on World 3.30, set your nexus to just, yeah, all your left click options are just wilderness teleports. And then just fucking... Have, have mates sitting at each telephone just hope someone fucking pops up just fucking send them dude that that's good i like that uh, the drop lower scam it, i think it's probably pretty pretty e tier there's not really i can't think it might be better but i can't think of anywhere where it's effectively used and then we have the instance lure i don't know about instance lure i don't know what this is does anyone know what instance lure is just so i can get some more insight i don't think i've got it on here instance lure It deals with uh, instancing the one for corporal beast. Corporal beast, so that's what it looks like here. So let's have a raid. Uh, what? Yeah. Um, the, this scam deals with instancing at the corporal beast layer. The victim who must um, must have to be at least 90 combat is told to bank all items beforehand as a safety measure and is led to the corporal beast layer. Then the scammer will go over the proceedings, follow uh, proceedings. Sorry, before sending the victim back to retrieve his slash her items to look good for the video. Okay, it's, yep, here we go. Also, the scammer will have the victim join his slash her friends chat in order to make the lair instance because uh, she doesn't want PVMers to ruin the giveaway, which again is a ploy. Afterwards, uh, the victim is told to drop all his/her stuff, including any game tactics, before engaging in a trade with the scammer. He will confirm that the items were indeed dropped. Once it has been confirmed, the trade is accepted. The victim receives grand seed pod and a high amount of coins, like 20 to 100 mil. Depends on the item value. Then the scammer will ask the victim to click the pod right after the trade. The scammer hopes that the victim is uh, is very greedy who click the seed pod without even thinking to tel and teleport to the grand tree, leaving the scam. What the fuck? And you can't get back in since it's instance. Because they kick you from the... Who the fuck falls for this? What? That that can't be a thing anymore. As soon as the trade ends, click the seed pod. But well, let me pick my shit up first, dickhead. What? what? That's... <laughs> I, I, I get it. But who the fuck falls for this? this is, what? That's that that's a shit law. I mean that's that we'll, we'll put it in the DT just to fill it out, but that that's kind of that's kind of garbage. Like it, like who the who thinks of that as a law and then who falls for it? Was the seed dude? Oh, you're going to fall for that scam. You know what the seed does? You're fucked, dude. The seed teleports you to the grand tree. We're saying is pick your shit up and get it out of there. Yeah. <laughs> pick your shit up and go. Can't they just kick you from the instance anyway once your shit's dropped? But it, it's a, it, the, the way that it works, right? It, it plays on hoping the fact, hoping that you're greedy, right? That was the bait. They could kick you out of the instance. That's what I thought. Yeah, they could just kick you out. Why, why would it even matter if you teleport? Like, as soon as they said, yeah, I've dropped all my items. You don't even need to trade them. Just fucking kick them. That's what I would have done. Fuck trading them. 
Pretty sure I just kick you on the FC and it boots you out the instance. That's, yeah, but that's what I was thinking when I'm reading it. Yeah, you just get booted. But why are you dropping your items, dude? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That, that's, uh... Yeah, that's insane. Honestly. That's so good. Heard of people being uh, kicked from CC, FC instance areas and told to drop items and not able to get them back. Yeah, that's insane. If you drop on your items, that's the, that's the bad part. But why you, why, well, no, you should be talking to these people, why are you dropping your items? The 30 second delay on the boot, that's why they want to TP people? Well, there they can't be a 30 second delay on the boot because the 30 second delay should be gone because they've already had you come in and then go bank and then come back, right? Does the 30 second timer reset when you enter the instance? They'll run a group scan with the instance lures and have people PM you about a BS YouTube video. Yeah, that's one. So um, what that's with, uh, that falls under like anti-scamming. With buy limit, so this one, guys, is one to uh, okay. That's why it's on here. So we'll talk about the anti scam one actually, because buy limit is a shit one. But anti scam, what does happen is someone will try to scam you. They'll start talking to you, and then you'll have someone DM you and be like, "Hey, don't talk to him, man. He, he's a scammer." But we can we can get him if you want. They're both in on the scam. Okay, someone's trying to talk to you and be like, "Yo, don't, don't trust him. He's a scammer." But let's get him together. Now nah, those two are mates. Okay, they're both in on the job on, on the job they're both in on the joke to get you do not talk to anyone don't try to anti-scam either okay because you nine times out of ten you will not win it is very hard to anti-scam that it is not worth the money because you will likely get fucked scammers know how know how anti-scams work and will nine times out of ten win in that fight that's the scam that trapped me under the host city's plow that's so i didn't know you get trapped under that that's so good man that people just sit there and just find traps and, and find ways to like stop people from being fucking being able to move and teleport. We're gonna put this into B tier because of the anti scam. I forgot about that. My apologies. But that's the uh, RuneScape scam tier list. Have you fallen for any of these yourself? Skull tricking. Skull tricking is still active, but if you do it, it's it's most. I think it's the most scummy. Like people that skull trick, in my opinion, are people who can't PK. It's that simple. Where's the platinum token scam? Platinum token scam could probably come under. It, it, it probably falls under. Um, maybe even item swapping, you could argue. I mean, you know, I know you're not item swapping, but if someone tries, to, someone tries to offer you max cash stack and it's in platinum token, don't accept it. And look at the numbers, but max cash stack, accept it in gold coins because they're likely using uh, 2.1 mil rather than 2.1 bill. Gambling bot scam? A non made it, okay? If it's not on here, it's okay. Doesn't matter. These are the scams that matter, okay? Gambling bot scams, if you, get, if you fall for it, you deserve it. Let me scam trying to anti scam. Yeah, don't try anti scam. It won't work. I only got scammed once. Then, uh, I didn't swap for a dragon longsword when it was 12. Uh, never got scammed again. Yeah, I haven't been scammed in a long time, to be honest. It's been a very long time. PK skull protection pretty much prevents skull tricking as long as you use it when you're not PKing. Yeah, so you're relying. It's like skull tricking, in my opinion, is, is for people who can't PK. They're incompetent. They don't know how to PK. They're not very good. Or they're just, they're just scum of the earth. Donkey scam, that happens on a sports bet, mate. So skull tricking is, is why it's F tier, because it is the lowest form of PKer, as well as lowest form of scammer. You are shit, um, and you're taking advantage of the system, like, you, you're, you're, just, you're just a shit person. Pe people make YouTube content out of skull tricking still, to this day, and aren't banned, which surprises me, because they fucking should be. Um, and then four noted items doesn't happen anymore, unfortunately, so... For Shots fighter Eliop, yeah, he's one of those dickheads, for sure. Can't should be fucking banned, but here we are. Um, anyways, uh, E-tier, Trust Trade, uh, Street uh, versus G Price, and Drop Lure. These aren't really super common. Trust Trading is just like, that's just really unfortunate. That's mostly, most of the time, that's just friends getting greedy and, and burning bridges because they value money over, like, friendship or clans or people that they've raided with and, and, and have been playing with for a long time. That, that happens, uh, unfortunately. Street versus uh, G Price only really happens when Clue Scrolls come out. And drop lower, I, I think, is a pretty pretty rare instance that probably doesn't really happen anymore. Instance lowering. You're, you're a dickhead if you fall for instance lowering. Do not do that. No. You're not going to be in a YouTube video. No one needs you. If, if someone's making a YouTube video, they have people that can be in a video with them. So if someone's asking for you to be in a YouTube video, um, you're, gonna, you're getting scammed. I, I have people I need to be in a YouTube video for. I don't, need, I don't need to ask random people at the Grand Exchange with gear. It's not like... If you need it, you will have it. Fishing sites, they're pretty self-explanatory. Don't click on links because you're going to get fished. Gold swapping, you've got to be careful because it's people taking advantage of a trusted and uh, allowed service within RuneScape, so be careful of that. 
Item swapping is something that still does happen. Uh, it doesn't really happen anymore, actually, because of the new, obviously, the exclamation mark ship um, and the warnings. But back in the day, I think it hit uh, hit a lot of people. I have a lot of people tried it. A lot of people uh, fell for it. A lot of people at least witnessed it. And anti-scamming brings the, the buy limit one up because anti-scamming is uh, something that people try to do and they get fucked every time. Where's the trusted swap CC? Where is a trusted swap CC? I don't know. I don't want to give you one because I don't know. I used um, uh, Kemp Q's one during demo mode this time around. I had to wait two days for someone to get on there because I was a higher tier than everyone else. Oh, here we go. This is what a non look what a non sent us. I don't know if audio is going to matter here, but this is the um, malicious plugins junkie. I was open OSRS plugin lure exposing what it fully looks like to be plugin lured. Here we go, guys. This is what it looks like to be plugin lured. Let's go. All right. Not really any sound. So the guys asked him to share his screen. Well, one, one, remember he's on open OSR, so he's already cheating. He's telling him he's telling him to go to his bank. It's <laughs> four twenty. <laughs> uh, top help is turned on. Grab the actor file, okay. This guy does have the Dragon's medallion, for fuck's sake. Oh, he does have it. Okay. This guy deserved to get lured. Look at those genetics. I know, right? <laughs> This isn't a, this guy, the guy scamming him is Australian, by the way, by the accent, so. It's pretty typical. Aussie PBM is. This is also the standard cheap plugin user. Like, most people that use cheap plugins, I would say pretty much everyone that uses cheap plugin, or cheap clients. They're just fucking, they're losers that don't have a fucking clue. Like, the, the fact that they are falling for this and they need to be walked through to help with raids, these are the sort of people that downloaded these clients. If you use these clients, and I know some people that fucking use them, absolutely, you're, you're shit. Like, this is the standard fucking player. You, you, they are clueless. Theater Blood isn't this difficult. It's ripping a fucking bong. Now the screen's got black. That's it. Now they're pretending he's lagged. Yep. 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 He just got fucked. So basically what happened was they, they had control of his client the whole time. They have control of his client they, they're in, they're just not touching it, right? But they wanted him to put the bank pin in. That way they can get into the bank. That's it, you know? Still have control of his client, they haven't done anything. As soon as he rocks up at the Ectophantus, because on a PvP world, as soon as you get here, sorry, where is it? As soon as you get here, you're in PvP territory. So now they hop world. All right, he's trying to move, screen goes black. They're hopping world. And then you can hear 
World Hop successful. And then you hear the, what, what was that, like the, the tally block or whatever? It comes dead. Just trying to game with the boys. Dessert for using cheek line. Um, yeah, that's it. Like, fucking, there's probably no audio in the video, but that's basically just what happened. Just, he's sitting here like, oh, what do you mean I gotta remember the tiles? Oh, <laughs> this kind of fucking moron. Standard open OSRS uh, user, for sure. Absolutely deserved. Sit, for sure. Crazy you click the number of bank pin instead just typing it. Well, he typed it in on the number pad and it came up in his chat box because Open OSRS doesn't have that. Um, well, his Open OSRS didn't have the type bank pin, I guess. So he then clicked it instead. Most funny part is that he opens rune light. Yeah, he opens rune light next. Like it's going to make a fucking difference. So don't. Don't, guys. Just fucking don't talk to people. And I, like, I, I'm not surprised that they were Australian. It's very big in the Australian PBM community. A lot of, a lot of those people are rats. They'll either try to. Um, exploit you for your gold or exploit you for your bank. It does happen. I know a lot of them that do it um, And they don't like me for that reason. So Don't fuck just don't guys. All right, Th that's an example of the plugin working right there. You're fucked And if you fall for it, uh, you deserve it. Obviously, when you put your pin in front of uh, in live in front of strangers Yeah, well, you know that, that <laughs> what do you expect from something like that? Anyways, that's the tier list there. Thank you for sharing that and on that was a uh, great insight to the end of the video there <laughs> That's so good that that clip's been uploaded too. That's awesome. Absolutely deserve to be scammed. And uh, yeah, let's jump onto the hardcore now, boys. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn. Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge.